Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left-hand corner, we got So starting as, I gotta say, it's kind of stylish. Great Terran, bottom right-hand corner, we got Doodle starting as the Orange Protoss. This is on Neo Sylphid. Another map that could be trouble if they're early ground engagements. I do want to make the comment that So was able to dispatch Fisheye in the earlier rounds. Fisheye is no slouch of an opponent. I'm wondering if it is just quarterfinal nerves that are playing out for So right now. But game one, Doodle taking an easy victory as so going for the quick command center and a barracks being delayed on top of everything else meant that Zealots were in the base. There weren't sufficient SCVs pulled to defend against the initial Zealot. Honestly, actually, I'm going to give it to so like nine times out of 10, you're going to end up losing that match anyway. Actually, 99 times out of 100. It's extremely challenging to put up a defense uh, when you're caught with that early as Terran. And you really got to micro it well. And they don't know what the, the conditions were in the match. But point being, Doodle looks like he wants to take it to so early. And that might be the strategy that could lead to a, a semifinal berth for Doodle. As so seems to have some strong play and macro play once he gets rolling. But if you can catch him in the early stages, looks like Doodle has proven that you can take a win. Also going to give an Ayaya out to chat. Initial pylon down, initial scout out for Doodle. I would scout early if I was him as well, or do the scout after gateway if I was him as well, especially after game one. It looks like we do have a barracks in construction initially from So. Considering how successful the initial Zealot was previous match, I would not be shocked to see a Zealot before a simulator build this time from Doodle, potentially. We'll have to see, though. Especially considering this is a rampless map. We do have a quick gas take forward so so it doesn't look like he's going to go for a barracks into expansion build definitely maybe i always say definitely maybe that's like a that's a nice set of terms right there makes a lot of sense uh <laughs> we're very likely going to see a factory first opener before expansion that is what i'm trying to spit out right this second three stv on gas barracks is going to finish we do have nearly 100 gas in the pool first marine being constructed first on the way, cybernetic score warping in. And the probe making the rounds is going to be able to meander in and get the scouting information. SCV have been pulled off gas, which means this is very likely going to be a factory into command center build. Doodle now being forced out, first sell it about halfway, at the halfway point. The defensive line is here. That does leave the factory somewhat exposed to the northern part of the base, but the Marines can engage with the, S uh, the SCV line. One problem I've seen for Terran is, is trying to scoot the SCV through those lines. The Marine, in a panic, man, you could just tell the fear with that initial Marine now scooting back out. Taking some initial hits. Oh, getting annihilated by that probe. So the probe getting the hit in between, also allowing for initial kill. The SCV coming back, it's going to die as well. And now the Marines scrambling for the gap. There are two alive here, and that's a nice gap to go ahead and engage. It looks like an SCV is going for a proxy factory at the three o'clock location. First vulture being built. So initial indications from so that this is going to be an expansion potentially. The probe wandering back and getting some damage. And this could be over quick because the Dragoons moving towards the front to apply pressure. Although So needs to be careful, he's only got three Marines and that is two Zelts and a Dragoon. They could very quickly sweep in and wipe things out. We do have a natural expansion being planted behind this though from Doodle, but this is a sufficient attack force. So yeah, the probe's gone, but the Marines are pinned to the Southern Wall. So all three Marines taken out, that's only leaving a Vulture left to try to defend and it does not have mines yet. The machine shot's being built. SCVs are gonna have to pull. Some sufficient damage on that left cell at two SCVs block, doing a great job blockading that Vulture this time. So putting up a much better defense than in game one. That factory is up at the three o'clock location. So this could, this is going to be interesting. SCV out, off gas, first tank being built, but some incredible early damage from Doodle. Zealot's been wiped out. It looks like that Dragoon getting pecked away at the SCV not continuing with the attack and this Marine remaining delayed. So, so falling apart a little bit in early game micro. Regardless, that three o'clock location is up. The machine shop being built. This is still a winnable game for so if he catches Doodle by surprise, which is very possible as that natural expansion just coming online. This Dragoon completely six kills on that Dragoon. Ho, ho, that is a lot of kills. Siege tank out gets an immediate hit. 
So is effectively all in. He's down to his uh, down to 15 SCV at this stage, which is going to make it harder to pump troops. But this is a two factory play. Might want to hold off the SCV going to scoot in. This could be a big red flag for Doodle after all of those SCV losses. Now seeing an SCV scooch in. There's the Nexus being built. Second gateway is their robotics facility as well. I would expect. So yeah, three gate. So needs to get a move on. Second. This is going to be an interesting build here because, yeah, usually you have an SCV pull with this and more Marines in tow. This is sufficient to deal with these Dragoons, potentially. It's going to come down to some micromanagement and so has shown some jitters up to this stage. Also, these troops not cohesive, so it's going to be the siege tank allowing that Marine to die early. It's also taking a peck of damage. But now the question is, is, is that timing sufficient as that Dragoon getting backed into the natural expansion to shield battery being dropped? Second siege tank with the Marine grouping up. I don't think a bunker is going to be sufficient. It's got to just be pure reinforcements. Two siege tanks versus three Dragoons and two SCVs. The SCVs have to stay alive and be on the repair. Third siege tank of Vulture now moving up. Now keep in mind, we don't have any of the machine shop upgrades because of the lack of SCVs earlier, but the probes being pushed back and wiped out to the natural expansion. Doodle still holding the lead, but has three siege tanks, two vultures bearing down at the natural expansion. I take it back. Looks like there was, in fact, the mine upgrade. I missed it in between there. Vulture pressing up. Solid defense thus far. The shield battery has gotten all its charge out. Looks like it's absorbed a lot of hits as well that could have been on Dragoons otherwise. The vulture is being pushed back. Mine gets wiped out. Now the observer is in place, and that's going to make it much more difficult. And the siege tanks are dropping. Another Vulture train to scoot in. I don't... And now Doodle can really be patient with this because he's got detection overhead. Now five Dragoons flooding and that is going to be GG to So. So dropping two games quick. Having trouble establishing his early game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Doodle on the verge of a semifinal berth. Thank you for listening.